So in the standard MM data model, this, this product version, uh, you can just ignore it. This is the type one entity. Okay. So mm. I'll explain this later, but an MM data model under that you have one type one entity. That is nothing but your material. Material, material is the type one entity. Mm. Now you can see all these are the, this is your entity itself. Okay, so let me open parallel in another window. MM. Material, material is a type one entity. So when I double click this type one entity, you can see here the data element we maintained. So this itself, since it's a type one, man, data element is mandatory and this itself will act as a key attribute. So that is... Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Is what uh, it says over here, your entity itself acts as a key attribute over here. After that, this particular, wherever you see under this reference entity, so this attribute, then this is a type three. EN is a EN is a type three, and this type three added to uh, had a reference relation with your material entity. That's how you can see this particular attribute got added. This is not a direct attribute. This attribute added via reference relationship, but uh, this is actually the another type three entity. And uh, rest all are you can see the normal attributes here. Okay, in MM data model and type one entity. Under type one entity, you see all these are the different type fours. This is related to classification. One is related to your, this is related to your unit of measure. Okay, in unit of measure, it has a, uh, uh, this is a type four and uh, had a uh, uh, type under type one. So there are two leading and qualifying relationships are there. And uh, you can see this, EAN is used in multiple places. Your uh, This is a your EAN number, international article number. So usually that international article number will be there at un under your unit of measure, also under your uh, material entity. Okay, so that's why it is being used in multiple places. So instead of uh, adding as a direct attribute, SAP created it as a type three and made a reference relation with uh, your material entity, as well as with your uh, type uh, this, uh, unit of measure entity as well. So it doesn't have further any childs. This is the last last node under this one. So let's try to find out uh, some, which one? Okay, so all these valuation sales tag, all these are type four, right? Yeah, all these are type fours. All under these. material, that is type one. Yeah, under type one, all these are the different type fours. Okay. Now there should be one child. Uh, I'm just looking at uh, the third level wherever we have. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Storage location. You said no something yeah, that day maybe in under storage location file it. Yeah. So let me find just a minute. This this is storage type. No, okay. this huh, this one Mardi store. There is one entity. Not all entities have again sub chains, but there, there is a couple of entities that have the chains. Usually, you will have type 1 and type 4 only, but. Uh, Okay, so or else I can show you in a, a BP data model, the same one. Okay, so this is your BP data model. MM also, it, only one or two entities are there, like uh, that uh, two level. But in BP, I'll show you this. So BP header, under BP header. So how business partner is handled, let me show you multi assignment, yeah. Now you can see here, let me first explain. So in case of a business partner, 
in mdg business partner customer and vendor all three considered as a one object like a, so it's a same dp data model where you will actually used for business partner customer and vendor that means in M, in s4 system or in mdg in mdg right you cannot create directly a customer okay or vendor you have to okay so you first when if you are creating a customer or vendor also it has to be via business partner okay so first you have to create a business partner and from that particular business partner system will create customer or it can you can create vendor or you can create multiple vendors multiple customers but every customer or vendor has to be associated with business partner okay so that configuration we call it as a cva this is irrespective of your mdg in general sd consultant uh, uh, or mm consultant uh, will aware of this concept uh, cva concept uh, customer vendor integration okay so you need to do this configuration so then what happens is even if you are creating a vendor first system will create business partner and then it will create a vendor for that one this cva uh, in configuration should be available okay so i'll, I'll uh, take this uh, cva configuration separately but uh, in mdg how sap represented this one is you have one su type one that is bp su type one this is bp header bp header okay under this su type one they created something called another su type four this they call it as a multi assignment multi assignment okay now this su type 4 further has another su type 4 one su type 4 for customer another su type 4 for vendor okay so let me show you that uh, in uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap video graphical manner so yeah this one okay now you see here bp header is there now under bp header you have address day address one entity for address one entity for the general data one entity for bp rows tax identification numbers so likewise you have different type fours all these type fours are directly connected to your type one bp but now you see here there is one multi assignment entity is there and this is your su type four and from this su type 4 there is again so another shade for custodian is another type 4 which will actually have this uh, customer related information similarly you have another vendor vengeance is another type 4 which you where you will store all the vendor related attributes okay so this is a multi level uh, hierarchy you can see here so now if you look at uh, the same in the system first at the top you have bp header under BP header, you have BP multi assignment as a type four. Here, <coughs> you have all, some attributes related to uh, multi assignment. After that, you have again another child, Vengen, Custion. Okay. Now, when you expand Vengen, this is not, this will store your vendor related data. In Vengen, you have all the vendor general attributes. These are these are your LFA one attributes. Under Vengen, again, you have a kind of uh, uh, sub ranges. Then uh, uh, this is uh, what is this sub ranges? Vendor specific uh, entities. All these are tax related, one purchasing related, company code related. So these are the type uh, different and the type fours. So uh, see here how many levels. If I expand this company code under company code, I think this is the last level. Okay, fine. Now the lowest level here is company code. Okay, this company code for this company code, the parent is BP Vengen. If I go up BP Vengen. 